everyone and welcome back to airplane mode today you guys obviously we're back with a brand new video and today guys i'll be once again doing another tutorial as i've been starting to do a little bit more frequently versus the actual full flight videos because those have been getting like 50 to you know maybe 80 to 100 views I have one that has like 200 something views, but point is, tutorials do a lot better on my channel and I think they help you guys out a lot more. And hopefully they're a little bit entertaining too. So today guys, I'm going to be uh, teaching you guys how to install a better pushback. It's a very, very amazing pushback plugin that you can use for X-Plane 11. Basically in any plane, I've used it in the CRJ200 by Jay Rowland. I do not believe I have used it for the the um, Bombardier Q400 by Fly J Sim, but I obviously I've used it in the Zibo 737-800 and you have seen me use that in numerous videos of mine but today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to install it so without further ado we're gonna go ahead hop on our browser and get started alright you guys so you're gonna to want to go ahead and visit this web page here um, I'm not gonna copy and paste it because ch chances are what's gonna happen is I'm gonna record this today edit it tomorrow and also post it tomorrow as well so it's not really gonna be much use so I'll just revisit this web page but this link will be in the description below so you can easily access the plugin that you are going to be installing basically you have all these different or <laughs> very few but there are a few different um, versions here or a couple whatever this is the oldest one okay this is like older so like November 17 2017 versus March 12 2018 so this is definitely the newest version and this is the one that we're gonna be installing so to get started with that we're just gonna go ahead and yep there we go assets so if that's not there go ahead and just click assets right there I'm just gonna go ahead click a better pushback dot zip right there it's gonna start installing like all of the other plugins we have installed before so pretty much that's how you install it to your actual computer if this is helpful so far which <laughs> probably it's not it's pretty self-explanatory do go ahead and subscribe down below also let me know if these are are actually decent videos that i make or if you would prefer me going back to the full flight videos or you know what something else because the whole point of this is to make you guys happy and if i'm not really doing that and i'm just pleasing myself by getting some subscribers then what's the point of honestly doing this? I will go ahead and quit YouTube right now. I just really want you guys to let me know what you want me to, what you want to see me doing. If tutorials aren't what you want, then go ahead and suggest something else. Trust me, guys. I'm all ears, and I always like new suggestions for videos and a whole bunch of other things like that. But once you have it installed, there we're just going to go ahead once again make this a little bit smaller and drag this out into the corner there. Once we've done that, we're just going to go ahead X out and basically do what we normally do to extract folders from zip files so there we go now that it's open we're just gonna make this a little smaller and if you double click on better pushback you're gonna see it has everything that it needs right there so what we're gonna do is just drag this right next to this guy right there it's gonna move from better pushback this guy right here to the desktop and once it's done we're gonna go ahead and X out of this folder which we can technically do now yep there we go we're just gonna go ahead X out of that like so and it's moved here so what we're gonna do now is delete the zip file and drag this guy down next to this actually you know we'll put this up there so we don't have the same issue I've been having drag this to the top corner I should really get used to this <laughs> but I'm, clearly I'm not anyway we're gonna go to where we normally do for uh, the plugins which is resources and plugins right there You'll see that I do not have it currently installed, obviously, because I'm doing the tutorial. Um, so what you're going to do is go ahead and drag this file, move it to plugins, and that's basically it. So once you've done that, I'm just going to double click it, do the same thing once again. Not a necessary step. You already installed it. I just like to see it in alphabetical order. OCD kills me every time. Um, anyway, so with that, that's better pushback installed. So we're just going to go ahead X out of that. X plane, we're just going to leave that in the top, whatever. We'll drag it down here for reasons that I cannot really explain <laughs> anyway guys with that we're gonna go ahead and open up x-plane so let's head down here open x-plane and that will load up and I'll see you guys very very shortly when it's pretty much ready to go all right you guys and now that we are currently in the actual airplane that we're gonna be doing this tester on and the little demonstration with the better pushback plugin we're gonna go ahead and actually just get right into the video versus wasting any time like I normally do so to start things off, we're going to go ahead and head up here to where it says plugins. If you don't know how to do that, you're just going to go ahead and drag up pretty much right there. 
pretty much to the top of your screen and yep then you're just gonna click plugins head down here and here you have better pushback it is not arranged in alphabetical order just as a little bit of a heads up to you guys so you may have a little trouble finding it if you have a lot of plugins I mean I have mild amount of plugins but anyway regardless we're just gonna go ahead and start off by going here um, I'm not gonna click this but and I have no idea what that does to be honest with you I just clicked it on my previous take this is my sixth take of this little video segment so <laughs> it's definitely taking a lot longer than what you guys are going to see but this kind of just crashed my sim so I'm not gonna touch that I don't know really know what that does I've never really had to I don't think it's gonna come in handy anytime ever whatever moving on preferences right here if we click on preferences right there you have a whole bunch of little things here user interface you can do explain language which is like the guy that is like the super super robotic voice whatnot whatnot you can do Dutch English Spanish France Portuguese or er, French Portuguese don't even know and looks like Japanese or Chinese something like that so I'm just going to select English because that is the most realistic sounding voice. I mean, you could use explain explains language, which is going to sound, which is going to be English, but as well. But English is, you know, just more realistic. Plus, it goes um, along with kind of whatever part of the country world you're in. So if you're in like Texas or something, then it's going to use like a really nice Southern accent. But if you're like a place like this, it might use a woman's voice or maybe even a Southern accent because we are kind of in Southern California here in Burbank. But that's what the user interface, whatever this thing does. Crown, ground crew, ground crew calls, ground crew audio. Holy cow! My language only at domestic airports. My language at all airports. English at all airports. I've just left this like this. This is giving me the most realistic stuff. Whatever you can read the blue stuff, pause it and read it. Whatever. But I've not found that very useful. So you can select that to whatever you want. I have no idea exactly what it does. Auto disconnects when done. That might be um, something I could turn on. And I think, here, let me just read the blue stuff. Never ask and always automatically disconnects the tug when the pushback up. Yes, so I'm going to leave that on because to me, that is, yeah, we're going to hide that as well. To me, that is super nice because then I don't have to, like, click everything and it just kind of does it more realistically. Should developer menu, I don't really care about that. And hide default X-11 tug. That is so that the little tug, like the default X-11 tug does not show up. That is super, super nice. That way you don't have to worry about that getting in the way or glitching around or anything like that. Radio output device. So in this case, it it, it does go usually most of the times to what you have like plugged in. So in this case, I have speakers and headphones, audio, whatnot plugged in. So I'm going to be using this. But if I were to have my like USB speakers plugged in, then that would be a little option here. You select that and then there you go. No, we're not doing that. And that would just be how that works. Sound output device. Um, same thing right there. That's basically it. So we're going to go ahead hit save preferences. You can definitely toy around with that until you are satisfied with what you have as your results there. But yeah, with that, you have a bunch of these little options. This guy, this guy, and I don't, I've never had to use that. But these two guys will come in later will come into use later on so we're gonna go ahead and start things off by pre-planning our pushback so let's just say we're taking off from number eight here at Burbank um, yeah don't worry it's not gonna crash your sim I don't know why that's there um, let's just go ahead and do this so this you can these guys you cannot click um, I mean it's just clicking the little segment but these are not clickable options so I'm just gonna show you what you can actually click which are these four boxes right here so what you can do is connect first, which is a little bit more of a realistic option because that's like what they normally do in airplanes. It's usually connected while you're boarding the plane and then, or don't really quote me on that. That's just what I've seen. And then it's like ready to go for an on-time departure. So that's something realistic that you could do. We're not going to do that for now, but what that does is just basically connects to your plane. And then when you're ready, you just hit start pushback and you will be going already. Don't have to worry about pre-planning it. Well, I mean, you do, which is what you're doing now. But anyway, this is obviously just to exit. So if we hit that now, then you're going to be escaping there. But we're just going to go back to pre plan pushback there. So enter is to accept the plan, and this is to delete the segment. So if we were to press the backspace, it does the same thing. Otherwise, for example, if I were to click that there, then you can just hit delete right there. So you're going to use your mouse spin wheel to turn this guy and just kind of you're dragging around your mouse don't have to click anything you just drag it around to move it um so it does take a little bit of getting used to it took me a few days or not even like a few flights whatnot and then i was good so 
if we're taking off of eight right, which is the runway that goes from over here down, this guy right here from there to there, then we're just going to go ahead and do something like this. You don't necessarily have to have it too far back unless, you know, whatever, some random circumstances, but we're just going to do it right here. And there you go. That's your plan. That's where your plane is going to push back. I usually like to hit it like right in the center there so it's most accurate but once you've done that you can hit the enter key on your keyboard or you can click this i usually click that we're just going to go ahead and click that like right, that captain got the directions let yep. me know through the menu when you're ready so you can tell by his voice that is kind of a little bit of a more southern california type voice i'm going to turn that on if you want to learn how to install that definitely go check out my my video and that i previously posted it is definitely very very hopefully helpful i've gotten a few views on it and it should help you guys out. Also, this time, while we are waiting for... Well, actually, I'll wait for a second. So, that's your 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 plan already programmed. So, once you're ready, you can go ahead and hit Better Pushback and scroll down to Start Pushback. Now, once you click that, it's going to lag a little bit because it needs to load a bunch of information. Don't worry, it's not going to crash your sim. You just really need to be cautious that you don't click anywhere. Or else, it, yes, it will crash Great your news, sim. Captain. Your toe's coming. Yep. So our toe is coming. I love when they have nice voices like that. It's super uh, pleasant. Anyway, but that voice will range very, like, will change based on where you are in the world, as I already mentioned. So definitely a super, super nice feature. But with that, I do want to take the time quick while this guy is coming. Oh, <laughs> once again. So now you have stop pushback. If you click that, I'm not gonna, it's gonna cancel all the operations. The tug is gonna drive away or just disappear. I've never had to use this before. And that'll be it. You can pre-plan it like another whatever uh, route or you can just leave it regardless, whatever. Or you can click, or also you can click tug cat view and then use your left mouse button to look around. As you can see, it is All coming right. to my plane like right the doors there. And are so and we're ready to connect. Go ahead and hit that parking brake when you're ready. Okay, is it not set? Okay, guess not. <laughs> Whoops. But you see, you saw what that does. So you can definitely, you can also assign keys to this if you want. If you really wanted to, I don't really prefer to. You can go ahead and head over here to where is it? Uh, keyboard right there, and then you search for better pushback right there. View from tug. And if we just set that to the end key right there, done. And so now whenever I press the end key, it's going to load me to this guy right here. So you can do that with pretty much any key from plugin. We're just going to go ahead and hit zero and just come back to cockpit. And yeah, that's basically that. So better push back. Yeah, so that's literally it right there. Now, this is the other thing. If you have the newest version of the Zibo mod, then you will have access to better pushback from the ground services like the little tablet so if we were to click ground services right there you see that you have better pushback right there if you were to click on that you can do all the operations right there go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go all right so we'll just say we're ready to go now so we'll just go ahead and release our parking brake and i'm not going to be starting my engines because i really just did the most basic of power-ups here and that was yeah that's because of my ground power um, that's alright, but you get the basics right here, what is going on. I mean, he's just basically going to push us back to our desired area. Definitely super, super realistic, and the fact that it takes a realistic, like, 2-3 minutes for this guy to load is definitely super, super nice. As you can see, the wheels turn and everything like that. It is a super, super amazing, really, really well-made developed plug-in, and I definitely, definitely recommend it for you, but that's basically that. It's probably going to be beeping. Yeah, exactly, because we don't have any external power connected to really power up the plane systems besides the battery. But yeah, that's basically that. When it stops, in my case, what I did is with the little preference thing right here that I did right there, auto disconnect when done. Since I have that set, it's just going to be done. And then the second it like stops me at my destination where I'm done with this. Sorry, I'm not making sense. It's literally 8.30 here and I have not gotten that much sleep. So I do apologize. My words are a little bit slurred. Anyway, auto disconnects when done. It's just gonna auto disconnect. If you do not have that setting done, then it's gonna give you two little things. It's gonna say either, re it's gonna say reconnect and um, disconnect. You go and go ahead and reconnect it and then go farther back if you want to, whatever. Or you can hit disconnect and that's just gonna disconnect the tow or the tug from your plane. 
But that's pretty much just about done that. here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and set our parking brake like that. Just and we're disconnected. Don't mind so the beeping. Sorry about that. I should have set my APU versus the ground power. But that's basically that. So he's already disconnecting, and the disconnecting animation is super realistic. So you have the plane, you know, going down from the little tug. Sorry, it's not gonna be a very good view. But then you have that. It's super, super amazing plugin. I'm gonna head back in here, even though it's beeping. Just go ahead and actually we'll just pause it. <laughs> even better. But with that, that's basically the plugin. Hopefully, I covered everything, and I'll see you guys back on our desktop. All right, guys. With that, that is the video done. Plugin installed. Everything is good, fine, and dandy. And literally that's the tutorial so with that i want to thank you guys so so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it do not hesitate to hit that thumbs up button down below big red subscribe button and also hit that little bell icon so you will get notified every single time i post a brand new video and yeah that's basically it now i did want to take this time to shout out one of my friends youtube channel yeah one of my friends youtube channels it is called legendary gamer i did put a link in the description in the last video if i remember i will put one in this video too but he he has started to make Fortnite content. He's just starting out, so I definitely encourage you to go check out his videos. Um, yep, but with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do apologize if this video is a complete mess. My voice is literally drained. I just want to go to bed, even though it is only 8.30. <laughs> I am a little bit of an early going to better if that makes any sense anyway guys once again thank you so much for watching the video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that uh thumbs up button big red subscribe button little bell icon i'll see you guys very soon in the next video